Hey there, Mission Control. Welcome back. We continue our efforts to get uh, all the aquaponic stuff set up. Let me show you what we need to do today. I got a few of them done already. We need to run the uh, watering pipe and valves and everything to the new beds the way they're structured now. So this is lane one. We have the submerged pump running up. Got a T, elbow. That's what we need to do. I got this one. Bed two. And this is where I stopped it at before I installed bed four and, or three, four, and five. So we have to do this on lane one, uh, lane two, lane three, and lane four. They all need to be installed. So let's get to work on that. Just setting my initial cut here so I have a mold or a, a pattern to follow, try to get them all look the same. Let's see here. How should we fasten them? I know. We'll use zip ties. Because no trip to Mars would be complete without zip ties. Okay, lane one's all done. Now we gotta trim up lane two. These ones I put in previously, but I need to trim them all up so everything's the same. I love pecs. Such a nice thing to work with. One down there. So I really like this. We got control all on the same side here so I can walk down the middle of the lane, control everything, life is good. Just gotta do this four more times here and then we got the other lane to do. Okay, here's the pump that we're using. Hooking it up on lane three. Very nice. Submersible pump. Got enough flow rate to basically run one bed at a time. So when we first install these, they only work uh, for the very first bed here, this one here. 
And uh, that'll be fixed, of course, once we put the uh, automation in. The wind is blowing today. So, to make this all work, Normally, you would have your pond uh, hose, the, the black pond hose, but we have so much PEX that I'm just uh, just heating up the end of the PEX, make it loose enough to where it slides on, and then it sticks on there really well. But probably just using actual pond uh, pond tubing would be better because it's black. You have less uh, less algae. A little bit more, but don't need to go spend more money than what we already have. So I'm just going to use what we got for now. There we go. And just like that. Pump pump's hooked up. Down in there. Good. Now I'm actually putting them in where they're up above. Uh, the bottom a little bit, so they're actually suspended uh, in the in the pond, so they're not right on the bottom where all the sediment is at. Love this flex tubing, so easy. Boom! Get my zip tied. I need more zip ties. So I'm using everything that I have and I ran out of 90 degree elbows. So I have to uh, improvise here with the T and a cap that I also had still. Which is not a bad solution. Just love this text. I mean look. Bang. Hex and shark bite, I should say. Shark bite fittings are awesome. A little more spendy, but man, are they forgiving and easy to reconfigure. And that's the that's the real big thing, is easy to reconfigure. Especially when you're a real Martian. And you don't really know what you're doing when you're building this stuff, and you constantly are changing it. <laughs> requires a little more forgiveness. Okay, valve is closed, that's on. Let's go turn the pump on. Okay, here goes it. I see water. That's good. Well, the objective here was to get the aquaponics uh, all hooked up. So now we have all the piping in. Let me show you that real fast. 
this is lane lane three and lane four. So you can see the white piping running down the inside. The water running there. And we got the same setup over on lane one and two. Let's head over there and check it out. It went up pretty easy. Again, the shark bite and the pecs is just really such a nice thing to work with. So here we go. Now that big inch and a half line right there, that's left over from when we had the big pumps in. Uh, we're gonna be removing that. I uh, already took it off on lane three because we tore it all down. But everything turned out really nice here. I'm very, very happy uh, with how this all worked out. So, uh, I think I'm gonna probably be off for the rest of the day. Anyway, I got some chores to do around the ranch here, get everything all tidied up, and yeah, the next thing on aquaponics is I gotta get the valves put in which um, to actually automate everything so we can cycle through each of the aquaponic beds. And that requires the new automation, which I'm thinking I'm gonna put like a master control unit right here and it's gonna run to all the valves. Uh, we'll run wires to all the valves. So that's my current thinking and we'll have all the sensors going in there as well, which would require me to get a different control board. So I'm looking at the Arduino Mega for those that are wanting to follow around follow along or if you got different ideas suggestions on a better board cheaper and uh, it has to have at least 20 IO digital and if we can get like 10 analog that would be really good um, but I can use a multiplexer if I need to anyway hey uh, that's it I think I'm delirious from yesterday's marathon rock moving so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off thanks for following along if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to get notified when we put up new videos you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook in the meantime, everybody, this is The Real Martian. Out.